At the Ferme du Vallon, the chickens have found their haven, a place where production and well-being go hand in hand. That's it, eat your greens. Here I've got about 50 hens and three cocks that are they're from uh, various crossbreeds. Our chickens aren't just numbers. We try to make sure that they're happy. And because of that, they're not afraid. We never scare them when we go to cover the eggs, even if they're still sitting on their nests. That's not a problem, because they are lovely. They are lovely animals. One of the features of Cedric's farm is that he does his own breeding, the way all farmers did until fairly recently. Today, a new rooster has arrived to swell the ranks of the chicken coop. With this new, hardier arrival, Cedric hopes to improve his flock's independence and resistance. Today we have the newly arrived Gris de Vercors, who is just there. We've decided to call him Griever. It's an interesting breed because they travel quite far to find food, and the further they go to find food, the less we need to feed them grain. The arrival of Griver, the new rooster, may upset the pecking order at the farm. The male hierarchy is well established, with each male intent on fertilizing the largest number of females in order to spread his genes. For the moment, three roosters divvy up the hens. The king of the coop is Blanco. A three-year-old male who doesn't go anywhere without his harem of 20 or 30 hens. Next comes Jackson. Though younger and less experienced, he may one day rule the roost. His entourage is a small but respectable number of egg layers. And in third and final position is Kunu, meaning naked neck. Weaker and with an unusual appearance, less adept at finding food, naked neck has always been dominated. He's just managed to lure a few old hens that the other roosters have rejected. The appearance of a new rooster is sure to ruffle some feathers. Well, I think we're just going to have to open the door and let them at it. I believe in letting them get on with it. They're going to have to fight it out sooner or later. And the, the pecking order will be established whatever happens. The new arrival begins by taking on the least imposing of his opponents, Naked Neck. Piece of cake. Emboldened by his victory, Griever takes on the king himself, Blanco. He even has the nerve to confront him on his own turf. But his victory is short-lived. Blanco retains his title. Despite his defeat, Griever makes a play for the runner-up position against Jackson. The fight is over before it begins. Jackson makes short work of the intruder and stays in second place. For Griever, now in third place, just ahead of Naked Neck, the first night at the farm may be a long one. Places in the coop are at a premium and, like the number of hens in a harem, is a direct reflection of a male's rank. As the boss, Blanco has a place on the most coveted perch, surrounded by 30 hens. 
Jackson's perch is more modest, with just two hens to keep him company. Naked Neck has been relegated to the bin with a few old birds. But there's no sign of the new arrival. Well, he's found a quiet spot. He's sheltered and feels safe. Maybe tomorrow uh, he'll see the first hen pass and he'll cock a doodle do. No, no. The feistiness and aggression of roosters is one of the main traits of this species. Still visible at the Ferme du Vallon, this characteristic was clear from the start of their domestication. 